Hello, everybody. Today, I want us to talk about parallel and perpendicular lines, especially as we start to look forward and we get uh, more confident in our working with lines so that we can do pre-calculus. Okay, so this is not this is not like an elementary lesson, but it's an element. It's a it's a lesson geared toward going further, but with like a reminder of the elementary things. Okay, so again, uh, if if Plato and Socrates and Aristotle can all learn from sand in a little dish using their finger to start out the coordinate plane or whatever they happen to be talking about. I can use a whiteboard. Okay. I know there are fancy things. I know there are. I just, I'm not using them right now. Okay. So let's do a quick coordinate plane. So any time you construct this, you are creating a little mini universe. You are. That's the truth. Why? Because of the fact that now you are declaring, you're declaring where zero is and you're de declaring directions. Now, Something to notice and make sure that you know about the coordinate plane is that it is perpendicular. This is key, key. So let's take a moment to talk for just a second about right angles, okay? This is kind of fun. It's one of my favorite things. So this is a circle, right? Now, we get a circle is 360 degrees for two reasons. Number one, 360 degrees is a beautiful number. And actually, um, I believe it's deemed a perfect number, which those have actual mathematical definitions when you get into number theory. And number two, because it was believed by for many thousands of years that the year, the year actually was 360 days. Okay? We know it's 365.24, blah, 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 blah. That's why we have a leap year. Okay, and then even so, we have to adjust. You talk about the Gregorian calendar, don't get me started, you know what I mean? But so this is defined as 360, and that comes from a year, okay? 360 degrees of a circle comes from a year, okay? And for all of you with the heliocentric uni you know, universe, I'm going to tell you, this actually comes from flat earth theory. Put that in your can and shake it. Okay, so 360 is the circle. That's the thing. Now, if you take this and you cut it in half, now the horizon is 180, right? Because we've put this into equal parts. We're doing geometry now a little bit here too. But it all, when you learn math, you learn it in sections, but it's all, it's all one thing, okay? It's like when you learn, when you learn words and language, right? You'll learn it in a simpler form, but it's all one thing. It's all one thing. Okay. So, and mathematics is the patterns of the world in number form. All is number. It'll make you go mad. Okay. So now we have one of two. So when we do this, now 360 divided by two is, of course, 180 degrees. That's how you get that a, a straight line is 180 degrees. If you're a geometry student, right? A straight line is 180 degrees. That's how you get it, okay? Now, now, the phrase right angle, okay? And we could go into the etymolo etymology of these words. Um, angle is English. That's where you get words like England because England was in the angle and it's all come from the angel and it's like, you don't even want to know. I mean, maybe you do. Do you want to come down the rabbit hole with me? Which, which one is it? Red pill, blue, blue pill? Alice follows... The, the, the white rabbit. I'm just saying. Okay, so there was thinking of if you take the horizon, right, and we are surrounded by this. This is why we give it up. But the original idea was if you take a flat plane and you want to give equal parts to me and to you, more like creating a wall, right? We want to give equal parts to this room and that room, right? What is the angle? What is the right angle with which to create that well of course it's this right right down the middle and that then of course is half of 180 which is of course 90 degrees okay xy coordinate plane is was invented okay i mean to say invented sometimes people go as math created or invent or invented or discovered sometimes i believe it's discovered sometimes i believe it's invented it's a language it's a language with which to explain the discoveries of our world. 
So a right angle, Rene Descartes, do you remember, did you watch the other day? Rene Descartes dreaming up the coordinate plane, Cartesian coordinates, Cart, Descartes, Rene Descartes. That's where we get it. Cogito arigo sum. I think, therefore, I am. I am, therefore, I think. That's what I say. Happy cheers to you. Okay, so it is born by definition from a right angle. Right angle, 90 degrees, and then there's one more word. So a right angle is explicitly the angle. 90 degrees is the numeric form of the angle coming from 360 that we just showed, okay? The final piece is a word used to describe two lines, two places that come together at a right angle. They all mean the same thing. It's just different words, it's different parts of speech. And that word is, do you know what the word is? To mean 90 degrees, to mean a right angle. We say two things are perpendicular. Perpendicular. I hope my, uh, my, 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 uh, should I, should I do this extra big? Perpendicular, kids. Like in um, Sesame Street. Okay, so perpendicular. We now want to talk about perpendicular lines and parallel lines. See, I told you we're going fast. We went from geometry and the, and the existence of all things in Socrates to now, boom. Well, here we go. This is how math works. So... This is like, this is good stuff. I always hate to erase this because it really is like just dropping truth bombs everywhere. Can you imagine the amount of stuff? Let's take a sidebar while I erase this. The amount of things on this globe that have been lost to history. Do you ever ponder that? Do you ever just go, what? <laughs> Think about it. And right now there's, you know, whenever there's war, which I hate, War, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Um, we are just destroying our, our history, which is a sadness. I still cry over the Library of Alexandria, and it was destroyed millennia before I was born. Or was I actually there? No one knows. No one knows. Okay. So, perpendicular, perpendicular, and parallel. So, as we already discussed, Perpendicular means two lines that intersect at a right angle. Its counterpart in descriptions of two forms is parallel, which means lines never cross. Okay? So how do we... How, now we, we're going to put these back. We're going to translate them back to the numeric plane. Okay? Because on the coordinate plane... Lines go at the backdrop of the coordinate plane are linear functions, are lines, okay? And we have numeric descriptors, okay? And both perpendicular and parallel have to do with, say it with me, kids. We talked about it yesterday. Slope, okay? I wrote it down, but I didn't show you. <laughs> Slope. So the same way I was telling you the other day about midpoint, you have to do it twice because of the fact that you have to do the x coordinate of the midpoint and you have to do the y coordinate of the midpoint, right? Um, and slope, you have to you have to take the two points, you know, you have the change in the y over the change in the x. Parallel and perpendicular only exist when you're talking about two lines. You can only use that relationship on two, right? I can have relationships with a lot of different people in this world, right? But it's each person that I come in contact with, right? That maybe the question is, you know, are you friends with them or not, right? That would be like parallel, right? Perpendiculars, do you work with them or not? You know, but it's a framework of a very specific thing. So numerically, parallel lines have the same slope, right? So out of the gate, out of the gate. This is simple. We're doing simple. If I had this, peekaboo, if I had that, was minus 5 and plus 17, but they're both two-thirds, I can know they're parallel. I just know it. Okay? And I'll do a little sketch since we don't want to waste our beautiful graph that we made. i got to find my blue marker. Whatever. We're going to just etch a sketch these. So let's say these are our parallel lines that we graphed. 
and we put markers, we, we actually put an extra set of arrows to designate that they're parallel. Okay, because this is, math is a language. It is a language in number. It is a language in equation. And it is, an equ it is a language in graph. That's the thing people don't tell you. You're actually learning three languages in the same spot. In the same spot. What if when you were a kid, you were like, instead of having like English class, right? Or you'd go to Spanish class if you're an American student, right? So that's like the typical second language sometimes. For, I learned French. <laughs> Did I though? Um, but what if you just had language class and every single day you learned multiple languages every day? That every day you'd be like, in English, this is candle, right? I actually don't know it in any other language. But then, and then you'd learn it in other languages. At first, it would be wildly confusing. I won't deny that. That's what happens in mathematics. But for the people that like catch it, right? Suddenly it's like, right? Okay, so parallel lines have um, same slope. Perpendicular lines. Now, a lot of students have tried to say opposite slope. It's the opposite opposite, okay? Because let's, we'll do a little etch-a-sketch here for a second. I wonder if I can find another color. Another color. We'll do red. Okay, I'm going to sketch a perpendicular line to my blue lines, okay? Because we know that these lines have a parallel of two, or a slope of two-thirds, okay? Now, I'm going to have to see it this way, sorry. You can take any line, it doesn't matter. Just make sure it looks perpendicular. There. Okay, here's our red line. We're declaring it's perpendicular. Now, I know this, th this looks visually a little weird, right? So the black line is the xy coordinate plane. The blue lines are what I wrote in there. I just declared them. I declared that they're those sketches. And now the red line is perpendicular, okay? I don't have a full equation for the line, but if I wanted the slope, if I wanted the slope, a lot of students say it's opposite. Okay, but what does that mean numerically, right? Now this is where kids sometimes get hung up. It is the opposite opposite. Opposite in mathematics has no actual value. It is the negative reciprocal, okay? Negative reciprocal. Negative doesn't mean the answer's always negative. We went over this in a different thing. So I'm getting a cold because weather changing. It means that it means that it is the opposite of whatever sign you see. So negative of a negative is positive. But mathematically, it ha you, you put it into the, into the form and say it's the negative because the negative automatically swaps it. If you have a positive number, it turns it negative. If you have a negative number, it turns it positive. That is the operation, like turning the handle on a door. That's what negative does. So it is the negative reciprocal. Reciprocal changes the numbers over top, okay? So we can just know that this, if this is two thirds, two over three, this is negative three over, this one then is negative three over two, okay? Now I wanna tell you, if you just did negative, if you just did negative, you would have a symmetry. We talked about symmetry the other day too, okay? If you just had negative. If you just had the reciprocal, you'd have, you'd have symmetry over x, okay? Or wait, yeah, you'd have symmetry over the line x, y. You'd have symmetries, but you wouldn't have perpendicular. It requires both negative reciprocal to be perpendicular. A perpendicular means 90 degrees. In 90 degrees we get, because it is a right angle, it is the angle that abuts against the horizon that makes two equal sides. That all comes from 360 of the sun. I didn't make this up. All of humanity did. Over thousands of years. Would you like to do an example? Oh, that's so funny. This must have been super meta because the example in here says if a line has a slope of three over two, what is the slope perpendicular to it? Crazy town. Okay, go ahead and find yourself some examples if you need me to. Tomorrow we're going to talk about circles.